appreciate because we don't want nobody else getting hurt. But when you go to war, somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody get cut. The saints don't want to bleed. That's why they prefer to put on wedding garments instead of armor. Y'all get that? So we waiting on Jesus. Well, he's coming for some people with some armor on. We in the midst of warfare. Many times we would divide ourselves, our interests, our loves. I know I should be done, but I'm 51. I can't be doing all this stuff. <laughs> Amen. I tell my people, y'all ain't kill me. I'm going to be about 89 years old. I'm going to let you let me. I mean, I don't want to be the storyteller. I want to tell stories. I want to tell them how we got here, who our God is. We will divide things. Because when it comes to fighting certain things, if you don't believe me, think about it. When your finances are jacked up, you divide things. Yes, you do. You rob Peter, and he pays Paul. But you still got to come back and pay Peter. You started something, but you didn't finish. And I always used to think about that as like life, you know. You can't win a fight if you're looking at the big fight in front of you. You've got to fight all the little ones first. Because the, all the little things make the big things small. If you conquer all of the small things in your life, if you overwhelm them with the word and the spirit of God, if you overwhelm them with the prowess that he has given unto you, big things look small. Joker wrote that song, Big Things Popping. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. Because at the end of the day, all of that stuff is the right first and foremost of the child of God. To overcome. He have overcome the little children. For great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. To be more than a conqueror. For we are more than conquerors of all these things through him that have loved us. To be people who triumph. For he always causes us to triumph in Jesus Christ. You know, to be the head and not the tail. Oh, help me. Because I feel something trying to push me. Start up all over again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Always we divide. But I want you to know that when you divide, you also put yourself in a scenario or a situation where only one or two things can happen. I've been watching movies, and you'll see three or four people running from one person. And they do the darnest thing every time. Mind you, they ain't black folk, because we don't do stuff like that. <laughs> we stick together. We want to see you get cut and killed. <laughs> Amen? They do the darnest thing every time. They'll split up. It won't be two and two. It'll be four going four different ways. <laughs> when, we, when we divide, God on one hand is waiting to have an appointment with us. And on the other hand, the enemy is waiting to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes? yes? So for the Bible scholars, I know you hear. Say amen. amen. Genesis, the 32nd chapter, talks about Jacob and Esau. And I find that oftentimes if we, we preach this because we know y'all know Jacob wrestled with God. Um, uh, in the Hebrew, the word that implies that it was God, is, it's a theophany. And a theophany in the Greek is a word that describes when God takes on the appearance of something or someone else other than himself, but he's still God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so here, you, 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 you see him out in the desert wrestling with Jacob. I don't want to talk about the wrestling. Huh? I don't want to talk about the wrestling because most folks will wrestle with a thing and not prevail and will quit. Priest, this morning, and be ye not weary and well-doing, 